Hi everyone. I heard that you want to learn how to zoom in and zoom out on CapCut. Don't scroll for that, I will teach you. My name is Ezi Bujoma and I make tutorial videos on non-coding tech skills and video editing tutorials. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Keyframe, a tool on CapCut app that we use to zoom in and zoom out our videos. But before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and like my video so that YouTube will suggest the video to other people. To zoom in and zoom out on CapCut, we use this tool called Keyframe. But there are other uses of Keyframe. Sometimes in videos, you will notice that uh, something that you know ordinarily does not move will just move past your screen. That uh, effect is, uh, is applied with keyframe. Or I will just do my hand like this and it will appear as if a test is coming out of my hand. Or you just, something will push past your screen. I will just use my hand and just push something out of my screen. That effect is also applied with keyframe. So in this video, I will teach you how to use that keyframe to zoom in and zoom out and also do one or two things with the keyframe app to just improve your video editing skill. To so zoom in and zoom out on CapCut app, after you must have imported your video into CapCut app, you scroll your video to where you want the zoom effect to start. Then place your timeline bar on that spot you want the zoom effect to start. Click the keyframe tool. When you must have clicked the keyframe tool, scroll, continue scrolling your video or play it. Just click it to play. So to the spot that you want to be the peak of the zoom. That's the highest point of your zoom effect. Stop the video. Then on your screen, Use your finger if you are using your smartphone to expand the screen. Bolden it, bolding your the image or the video to the highest point, how you want it to appear when you must have zoomed in. Just use your hand and bolden it. After you must have bolden it, you will notice that a, another keyframe keyframe will automatically appear on that spot down there. Then continue playing your video again or continue scrolling down to where you want the, the zoom effect to stop. That spot you want the zoom effect to end on your screen. Reduce the video again to its original position or its original size on your screen. Then when you do that, you notice another keyframe will appear on, on its own again. There. Then go back and play the video again. You will see how it will just come in and then go out. Try it and tell me. If you want the zoom, the zoom in to be sharp, make the distance between one keyframe and another to be near so that it will just quickly come in and move out. But if you want it to be slow zoom in and then slowly zoom out, just make the distances between one keyframe and another to be wild. Once the distance is wild, it will just slowly come in and slowly move out. To do that effect, where it appears as if a word or an object came out of your hand, how it is done is just record yourself. Open your palm into your screen with your phone. Bring it into CapCut app. When you've brought it into CapCut app, if it is an object that you want to throw out, overlay the object or type in the test. Then when it's done, just play the video until the, until your hand is about to open. When your hand is about to open a little bit, carry that word or the test and reduce it to be small and place it on your palm, on the screen. Place a keyframe. Then continue playing the video again until your hand opens very well. Then, 
go to the the word again on your screen expand it and place it on your palm on the screen you will notice another keyframe will appear when that happens then go back and play the video it will look as if the word came out of your palm as for making an object move past your screen how it is done just overlay the object place it at the extreme of the screen then put a keyframe scroll down a little and then on your screen drag the object a little bit you will see an, another keyframe will appear then scroll the video again a little then drag the object again along another keyframe will appear scroll again or play the video a little again drag the object as you are moving you are dragging the object along as you are moving or as you are playing the video you are moving the object along you notice when you do it to the other end of the video and then come back to play it you will see it will just be moving as if it is going on its own as i just did in the illustration i did comment in the comment section what you think about this video if you watch to this extent, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and also share the video to as many people as possible.